or nuclear weapon that will have to be removed from an object X site such as Belgorod 22, just 25 miles from the Ukrainian border. It transported to military bases. It will take hours for a weapon to be made combat ready. For warhead to be made with cruise missile or ballistic missile. For hydrogen bombs to be loaded on planes, the United States will most likely observe the movement of this weapon in real time, real time, by means of satellite survey, surveillance cameras hidden beside the road, local agents with binoculars, and that will raise a question of existential importance. What should the United States do? What will Babylon the Great do? What would they do? What would they do? All right? Let me get to another article. Let me see if I can bring another article quick, right? Still concerning the war, right? Right? Still concerning the war, right? Everything going on, man. Right? Is a lot of going on, right? Keep in mind. Is <laughs> a lot of going on, right? Let me see some of this article. Like I say, tomorrow, you know, I'll be bringing up more, okay? I'll be bringing up more. As you already know, let me jump to this one quick, right? I'm gonna do a little bit more, and we're gonna cut it off for today, all right? Let's read it. It says, "U.S. long-range rocket system used for first time in Ukraine." So they are still sending weapon. Starting Thursday, which is last Thursday, Ukraine Defense Minister Oleski Reznikov held the arrival of the longest-range missile. The United States had provided thus far in the four month long war. High mass have arrived, so the US is sending high mass to Ukraine just to provoke the Russian. Thank you to my colleague, to my colleague and friend, Secretary, right, Secretary of Defense Louis G. Austin, that coon, right, that sellout for these powerful tools. So the Ukrainian they celebrate is the powerful tool. Summer will be hard for Russian occupiers. That's what they're saying. There we go. And the last one, so they're plotting to use this during summer. And the last one for some of them. Reznikov announced on Twitter. On Twitter, he literally put this on Twitter. He's exciting to violence, right? And guess what? They don't do anything about it. This is post on Twitter. He literally said, summer will be hard for Russian occupiers. You see that? There we go. He said the high mass or high mobility artillery rocket system were announced as part of the latest 700 million weapon package to Ukraine on June 1st. In total, four of the system will be transferred as part of the authorization with the possibility of more incoming aid packages. The high mass being provided to Ukrainian are estimated to be able to hit target about 50 miles away. You see that? Hey. We, from the administration's standpoint, marks a significant improvement in range, but still make, makes it unlikely the missile could be used to strike within Russian territory. Now, that makes it sound like that. Guess what? They'll use it for. Watch this. Which Biden has expressly said he want to avoid. He want to avoid? How can you say you want to avoid by you saying it? You see the hypocrisy? Of ice cream eater Joe Laden. There we go, man. Ice cream eater Joe Laden. He's eating a lot of ice cream. He said the U.S. has said that Ukraine's military leadership has provided assurances. You see? The U.S. has said the United States of America, Babylon the Great. He didn't say the Roman Catholic Church. He didn't say the Roman Catholic Church. He said the United States of America, Babylon the Great, has said that Ukraine's military leadership has provided assurances. It won't use the newly provided system to attack Russian territory. You see how they play the game? They play with semantics. Right? They play with semantics. How can you send a weapon and at the same time you're telling them that they promise? The Ukrainian promise. Do you, do you control them? Does Joe Biden literally control the Ukrainian? Yes, yeah, some way. But I'm talking on a spiritual level. Is Joe Biden the most high? No. <laughs> So how can you say, this is it, man. He said, amid persisting fears, Washington and Moscow 
could enter direct conflict because the Russian told you, the Russian warned you nicely, friendly. The Russian told you, don't do this. Don't do this. Guess what? They still do it. They still do it. The Congress, the Senate, the White House, they still do it. Because they don't care. They don't care. He said, I mean, persistent fear Washington and Moscow could enter direct conflict. Reznikov announcement didn't specify how many HIMARS have arrived at this point. However, it didn't take long at all for Ukraine military observer to allege the U.S. supply system has already appeared on the battlefield as on Friday. They already start using it on Friday. Two days ago, they, they already start using it. Right? Let me bring this article outside quick. Right? I got to check off whatever I read. Whatever I, I already touched them so that I know like, you know, tomorrow I won't be going over the same thing, right? I'll be bringing a new one, right? We'll be bringing our well, new one. We'll be dealing with new new one, right? Let's read this. You see, part of what? The war between the United States, right? NATO versus Russia, right? Let's read it. It say Lugansk is over. An entire brigade was lost in a few hours. The Ukrainian received an order to leave. They leave even swimming. Even swimming, they left. Lugansk is over for the Ukrainian army. As World News 24 7 first predicted yesterday, the trapped Ukrainian soldier received the covert order to leave several the next A. Lysychank. See that there was only 1.6 kilometers left to close the plunder in Lugansk. See below the map how it is configured, right? The Ukrainian army is counting thousands of casualties, thousands of them be killed, thousands. The figure which will be published in the second year will shock the million killed in the greater Lugansk region. It is characteristic that even the Russians seem to wonder about the size of the prisoner when asked by the Ukrainian who the rest of the soldiers were, the Ukrainian Republic replied, they have been killed. They have been killed. There we go. We told you, don't fight. Don't follow Bible on the grave. Don't follow Bible on the grave. So, like I said, man, all this is coming so that Jacob can be delivered. So we got to watch. So tomorrow, like I said, brother and sister, tomorrow we will continue with we'll the part two. Let me bring out a couple more precepts. Two or three precepts, and then we're gonna close it out. This is a book of Mark 13 and 32. But of that day and that hour, no one, no man. No, not the angel which are in heaven, neither the son but the father. Only the most I know the hour. Okay? Only the most I know the hour. Okay? Keep in mind. Only the most I know the hour. Okay? So keep in mind. Let's read Matthew 24. And 13, but he that shall endure until the unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right? That's the only way you're going to be saved. Okay, that's the only way, brother and sister. We gotta endure until the end. Okay? Yo, don't don't sit down on your sofa because you, you just came out from the church, from the building. You say, Well, yeah, yeah, I'm saved. No, you ain't saved yet, okay? Are you keeping a commitment? Are you wanting the brother and the sister? What is your work? What is your work? It doesn't matter if you have one view, two view. What is your work, man? What is your work? Which way you put in for the most high? Alright? So with that, we give our praise, glory, honor, power unto the most high. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukai Kodash, Amah, Hallelujah. We say, Kwame Shala, Kwame Shala. And thank to everyone that tune in. Those that are tuning in, Lord willing, right? Please share this video. We'll be right back at the Lord willing tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be right back at the law, will it? Right? With that we say, Shalom. Shalom.